Hey guys, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one will be on Sword Art Online 2, Episode 2. So this episode was pretty dang crazy, I gotta admit. Starts off with Sinon. She's, like, taking out this huge beast with her sniper from far away. And I played in MMOs, and I don't think that would work. She's just stand, um, camping in this one spot, just shooting it over and over again. It doesn't know where she is, just dying and... Like, most of the time you think it would either start, you know, running at her or it would, you know, be like, it would, the health would reset because she's too far away and it doesn't count. But she just keeps kill shooting at him from far away. No danger at all. Seems kind of cheap to me, but I don't know. So she takes it out after and then she gets, she wins a new sniper. First I thought it was a dragon off by the silhouette of it, but... It was just this other type of sniper. It looked really badass, though. Much better than her, the one she was using before. But that's the beginning. After that, it shows her and this other group she's with in like this desert-like area that we saw in the ending of the last episode. And it turns out that they're a player hunting squadron. And they're hunting a monster hunting squadron. So I guess some people, you don't have to you know, do attack you you know players only you can also go hunting and stuff for monsters and get some loot and stuff and that's what those monster hunters are and they usually have only energy weapons because that's what's good against monsters which is pretty interesting to be honest that they would you know change the type of weapon while the physical guns with bullets and stuff is what you use against humans so it's pretty much has like pvp and then there's pve and stuff it's pretty interesting pretty cool but they pretty much, she says that, you know, most of them, um, even though one of the guys was scared because talking to the leader saying, not scared, but he was wondering, what well, if they have a contingency plan? What, you know, because they already attacked this group before. And, you know, the leader says that as much as they could, the most they could do is get one physical gun. And, you know, the rest are just, what's it called? Energy guns, which they have their defense shields and they're easy to dodge, so must be hard to be on monster hunt uh, monster hunting you know squadron when there's like these guys that just go hunting for you waiting pretty crazy but after that um they the group finally sees the monster hunting squadron and they see that there's actually one extra person but that's not what they're scared of anyway they don't really know who it is but it turns um they're looking at all of them have energy weapons except one like just like the guy thought and he's the one with the machine gun. So he wants Sinon to take him out and then they take the rest out. They don't know what the cloaked guy, the guy with the cloak on, what his weapon is. But they think maybe it's just he put all his, you know, um, he's just uh, carrying all the supplies and all the stuff pretty much. So, but Sinon at first, she says that she wants to attack the cloaked guy because he's an unknown. She doesn't trust it. But they say that. The leader said that the machine gun guy can pretty much, he's the big problem and he, sh he wants, you know, it would make it hard for them. So they just go with the plan and Sinon's going to take that guy out. So they all go down while she stays up there and then she takes a shot 1,500 meters really far. But it's easy for her, she says, and she takes out that guy. So after that, she, she aims for the second shot to take out the hooded guy. And she shoots at him, and all of a sudden the guy is like Matrix or something. He sees it coming. He's like, <laughs> dodge. And all, of, and then it shows the rest of them going in after. Um, and they're dodging all the energy guns, killing the guys. And you're like, oh, it must be easy. Cloak guy takes off his cloak. He's got a mini gun, a mini gun hiding underneath there. And <laughs> Sinon's like, oh no, what the heck? And he just starts. <laughs> through everyone and it's just they're like what a minigun and Sinon even sees him smiling she's like oh he's got, I guess something would do if he's smiling on the battlefield he's got to be strong enough to you know smile on the battlefield so he's got to be strong and after that so she decides that she you know wants to take him out she has to take him out I guess she can't snipe from up there even though she's a sniper but I guess the, the first time she shot from that far, the guy just dodged it. And so she wants a closer up view. So she runs down to the group. But before she can get there, all the energy, 
all the guys are shooting their energy weapons at her. She's dodging them all. And then the guy shoots his minigun. She does this crazy ass flip above all the bullets. Pretty crazy. And like slides to the rest of the group. So she starts talking to them. You know, she wants to start up a plan, tell them a plan and stuff to get their attention while she goes for the shot on the guy. But the leader is like, no, we can't do this, you know, because um, it seems that they hired a bodyguard and that the big muscular guy is, his name is Behemoth. Pretty crazy name, <laughs> I guess, yeah. He's a big tick, tick guy with a minigun, yeah, Behemoth. And he thinks it is possible for them to take him out because, you know, even with him, there's also the other guys with their energy weapons still yet that can get him. And, you know, he thinks that they should just log out instead. And, you know, he rather, you know, get out instead of let them win. But Sinon gets all mad and she's like, you know, pretty much staying like, I, you know, because he says um, it's just a game. But she's like, at least in the game, be brave enough to run towards the guns and die. And I, I, I can kind of see what she's going by. It's a game. Why are you getting that scared? Run in. This isn't sword or online. You're not going to die if you die in the game. But I guess he doesn't. I guess he probably loses uh, money and gear, obviously. So he doesn't want to, maybe. But so after that, she gets him to, you know, listen. And she tells him the plan to draw their attention while she, get, she goes around to take a shot at Behemoth. And she goes around. They all got her attention. They got um, the guy's attention. She takes a shot. The guy barely sees it, but barely he dodges and it just pshing, hits his visor off. But uh oh, she's you know pretty much open for attack. And right when he's about to target her, the leader guy finally grows some balls, shoots the guy, and I guess it hits his shoulder and he moves a little and ends up missing. And I guess the other guys all died already, and the leader's the only one left besides her. And he runs, starts just going raw, and they end up killing him, but. They also, a grenade gets behind where the guys are and blows them up. So the only two people left are Behemoth and Sinon. And she decides that she, you know, he doesn't know where she is yet. So she wants to try and get around his, to his blind spot and take him out. So she runs to this building. And I'm thinking that's going to take a while. He's going to have an idea that she's going to be doing something. And she, right when she finally gets to the window on top of the building, what do you know? He sees her. He, he's already plant, starting to shoot. And she's like, oh, no. So she tries to jump up and dodge it. Barely dodges it. Only loses her leg. But she's, like, dodging the bullets in the air, flying around. And this is a weird part because the guy's all, like, oh, when he's shooting, like, as if, you know, that's his dick and he's coming at her. It's like, okay, that's kind of weird. And then one leg only falling down right in the head. Takes him out. And then she just rolls on the ground. And that's kind of weird because I'm thinking, I'm guessing the game doesn't have fall damage, right? But I don't know. She could have just jumped out the first time too and the other when she was high up before. But I don't know. Um, so after that, it pretty much just shows her she logs out of the game and she's just, you know, relaxing and thinking. Like, I don't know. She's got something in her head. The whole time she's thinking about him like, smiling on the battlefield you got to be strong if he's smiling on the battlefield and you know the guy you know at least be brave in the game you know so something must have happened with her don't know yet find out later after that it shows silica Lifa, and lizbeth fighting this flower monster <laughs> it's a little cute because silica's like i'm not like i was before because um he pulls um the flower thing grabs her like in the sword art online before and flips her instead of her like oh no help me she's like gonna about to take it down but all of a sudden it sprouts wings somehow and flies and she flips over like oh no help and then um what's it called Leafa helps her saves her and then Lizbeth comes down and takes it out and then after that it's pretty much they're you know farming the area for supplies for Lizbeth's shop so she's still got that shop thing going on and we also see As Asuna and Kirito are cozy up on like this on top this area and <clears throat> um, you can tell Kirito is like you know he's like thinking a lot like oh man what am I you know it shows him thinking about everything that happened in Sword Art I guess he's trying to figure out you know should he go back in the game and help but in the end I'm, yeah he's going to obviously but 
he looks at Asuna and he's like, he needs to tell her something. So I'm guessing he's going to finally tell her that he's going to go in GGO and, you know, find that guy and take him out. And that's the end of the episode. I honestly, I really enjoy this episode. A lot of action, to be honest. And a good intro, you know, it's an introduction of Sinon, her, how she is, how she fights, personality, kind of, a little. And pretty good episode. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 because... I was surprised that there was no Kirito until the very end, for one thing. But it's an introduction to her. But it was a good action stuff, but I wanted a little bit more story, background on Sinon and stuff. But it was a good episode. I really did enjoy it and can't wait for the next episode. Maybe this time, Kirito is finally going to go into the game, you know. And this is a discussion, guys, like I always say. So if you guys want, comment below what you thought about the episode, what you think is going to happen in the next episode, or if you have any questions for me. So, yep, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And till next time, guys, see ya.